Hey everybody, I, oh, I have headphones in. There, that's better. Hey everyone, I wanted to film a little apartment tour slash uh, plant tour today in my new apartment. I'm feeling, I just finished up work and I'm feeling really good about the space and I'm gonna be doing a couple things, I think today actually, um, to finish the place up. So I kind of wanted to just uh, walk you through the apartment, show you all my plants, and kind of tell you the last couple projects I have going on in this space. Um, so we're gonna cut to the front door and we're gonna get the tour started. Thanks for watching. Let's plant talk. All right, so down this hallway is the front door right here. And um, then to the right is my bedroom, straight ahead is the bathroom, and then if you come back where I'm standing is the kitchen, dining, and living room. So we're gonna go to the right. Oh, I still didn't put this stuff away yet. I'm still putting things in the on the walls and everything. So um, here's my bedroom. Give you a little overview. Uh, if you remember at my old place, I had a studio and I've never had a bedroom in my life. Well. <laughs> shouldn't say my life since I've moved to the city that I'm in now I've never had a bedroom because apartments are just more expensive so um it's my first bedroom and I'm really happy about it and um there's a mirror here hello then we have these are the cabinets that I had by my big windows in my old place and I had a bunch of blanks on them but they fit in this little alcove perfectly here so I'm storing clothes and stuff in there now and then I just have a humidifier on the end there, you know, like some knickknacks, my hats and my neon. Um, and then I put this shelf up that has, um, you know, golden pothos, Raphidophora tetrasperma, sable blue pothos with the yellow leaf, Bantel sensation, um, Sansevieria. This is a southern facing window, but it is covered. Well, not covered, but it's kind of blocked by a building. So it does get some direct sun in here, but it's kind of overcast today. Um, we have a Hoi Puba Calyx, Philodendron Florida, and my giant Raphidophora tetrasperma that was reaching for the stars at my old place, and I think it's making itself at home here, so it looks looks okay. After it was like stepped on multiple times when I was moving, um, I might put some plants along this ledge here. Not quite sure yet. It's kind of dark to that end of the room, so maybe not, but we'll see. And then I just have a little Sansevieria there. And going this way, we just have the bathroom. Nothing major there, you know, just a cute little bathroom. Um, just got this shoe storage cabinet from Ikea, actually. It's amazing. Really like small profile, which I love. Then we're getting to the part um, in the hallway where I'm gonna actually do a little project. Um, I might have my dad build me a little console table that's no wider than like 10 inches. Um, really long skinny one to go against the wall here um, just because I want to have like a place to, like lean artwork or put some knickknacks on and then I'll also put my grow frame above that little table once I get that put there so looking forward to that that's one of the last projects I have to do because this wall is just so long and blank <laughs> to the right is laundry and my closet and we have my living room a little overview here the windows are unfortunately northern facing in here so um, I'll be talking about all the other projects that I need to do in here to keep the light up but there's a little overview I'll walk over here get you from this side there's all my plants on my shelving from my old place so yeah these windows are unfortunately northern facing. Um, they're kind of bright-ish because when it's direct sunny out, the light really does bounce off the houses across the street and come in here and sometimes it even does put direct light on this wall, which is really nice where I have all my plants in my cabinet. Um, but so today actually I'm going to go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and see if I can get a nice pendant or strip plant light to put above there to augment with more lighting. Um, it's too dark in here, I think, for all these plants. So I'm gonna have to do that. I might film that process, I might not, we'll see. <laughs> but up here, I just have a Raphidophora pertussa, a Hoya Shepherdii, 
um, some variegated cactus. <laughs> Uh, Clithia overfolia that I haven't killed yet, a philodendron panda or bipinifolium, little Hoya carnosa, uh, Monstera siltipacana, I believe, or yeah, siltipacana, which is doing really good actually. I think it kind of likes the lower light. Um, Syngonium pink, whale fin sansevieria, uh, my uh, trio star is doing pretty good there. It's from Anthony Trio Star. Uh, Hoya Carnosa Compacta, and a little Xanadu down there, Eon Pothos, my giant Monstera Deliciosa that's doing okay, uh, Golden Pothos, Aspidistra, Raven ZZ, Burly Mark Philodendron, and my Pilea peperomi Peperomioides that is not actually doing that well. It really suffered in the move, and it was one of the plants that I didn't think was going to suffer, so that was interesting and kind of weird. Then on my coffee table, I just have two candles and a little uh, Hoya Chelsea. In the windows, I have a brand new Rick Rack Cactus, a Hoya Crinkolate, Hoya Crimson Queen, my queen, I love you. Uh, <laughs> little Syngonium uh, confetti there that I still have to pot up. That's why it's sitting there like that looking stupid. Then we have my plant cabinet. Hi. <laughs> if you guys are curious as to where anything is from during this tour, just leave a comment and I'll let you know. Uh, most of it's Ikea or random places. So um, I'll go over what's on top of the cabinet. Here we have a Monstera Leclariana, Pathos Enjoy, um, Skindapsis Exotica. Hello, gorgeous. Then my giant um, Monstera Edinsonii. Look at this new leaf. Someone really did not mind the move at all. Doing great. And we'll go over what's in the cabinet. I actually just got my temperature slash humidity reader readout for this today, and I thought the humidity would be higher, so I'm gonna have to keep a watch on that. But up here we have Monstera Stanoliana, uh, Hoya Macrophylla Variegata, a um, Refidifora decursiva, Hoya Matilde, um, Dragon Scale, Alocasia, Moonlight, Scandapsis back there, and then my two <laughs> science project slightly variegated plants that I found <laughs> um, at local greenhouses. I don't know if they're going to keep the variegation or not. Um, it's really very slight. I could show you on this leaf right there, see? So those are just little things I'm trying out right there. And on the bottom we have my variegated Burley Marks. A Monstera Peru. There's one leaf of a um, Philodendron Mexicanum. Uh, Silver Sword. Florida Ghost right here. There's a lot of stuff in the bottom, but I kind of like how it looks. Um, Syngonium Pink Splash. A little gorgeous with this new leaf coming in. Like, wow. Look at that. So pretty. And then my. Um, Wow, focus please. Okay. <laughs> Syngonium Potophyllum, um, Elbow Variegatum with some brand new foliage. Looking absolutely gorgeous. It loves that cabinet. Um, all the plants seem to be doing really well in here. Wow, focus. Okay, focus now. All the plants seem to be doing really well in here so far. Um, hoping you can get the humidity up a little bit. I might have to put um, some sort of pebble tray or something in the bottom. Um, I'll have to get crafty with that. There's a heat mat on the bottom with two things of water, but apparently that's not enough. Um, but I would like it to be in like the 60s at least, or 70s. So cute. I just love it so much. Uh, giant Monstera Deliciosa on the stool here next to my um, Peace Lily Domino which has some pretty cute variegation happening. Again, another plant that doesn't mind the light. I'm also gonna get a pendant light to hang from the ceiling here to shine on this. I might get a Soltec one, or I might just do a similar thing that I did in the kitchen. It's just an Ikea plant light with an Ikea uh, cord. So we'll see about that. That's another project. Hoya Carii, going halfway across the shelves here. Um, this is a brand new one as well. This is a Stromanthi um, Magic Star which I almost like more than the Trio Star. I don't know. And then a bowl made by one of our 
local artist in Milwaukee, which I absolutely love. A Hoya Australis here that is going bonkers. And then I have a plant light in here actually, as well with a Philips Hue light so I can change the color a little bit um, since there's two bulbs in there. Uh, so we have a Chiniki, my beauty, my favorite, my pride and joy, my Hoya Obavada. I love you. <laughs> Uh, la, 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 la. this is a philodendron something, don't remember. <laughs> and this is my gigantium that had um, thrips really, really badly, but is actually doing okay now. It's got some new growth and it's, it's coming back to life, so I didn't give up on it. Then our last room in the apartment is the kitchen. To the right, there is three plants. Um, Ripsalis, um, Snow Queen Pothos, and a golden pothos. It's got those three there. Um, my big birds of paradise. This is another southern facing window. And a pencil cactus and my little propagation box. Then on these really cute shelves, I put these lights in here. Um, I have a string of hearts, string of pearls, cutting from a Raphidophora tetrasperma, cuttings of burly marks. <laughs> A Sissus Discolor that's doing all right, hanging in there. And, um, geez. And the last one is a little uh, ghost cactus, ghost euphorbia, which I love. So those lights were taken down from my um, plant cabinet before I um, put the new lights in there. Oh, also, if you wanted to see a video on the plant cabinet, I put one up a couple weeks ago. It kind of goes over the process. Um, I already had it started, but I just finished it out. So you can watch that if you would like. And then the last two plants we have, nothing exciting. <laughs> just a um, marble pothos and a, re a regular ZZ. So nothing too crazy. That's all my plants and my little apartment. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, it's nothing too crazy. I did have to get rid of quite a few plants. If you have been watching me for a while, you know that I got rid of my rubber tree, my ficus, uh, my fiddle leaf fig, and a few others just, you know, for space and light, I did. I felt like it wasn't necessary. So um, I think I'm gonna go forward with a few more projects of putting grow lights in the place. But other than that, I am so very happy. I absolutely love it here and it already feels like home when in reverse, my old place, I lived there for two years and it never ever felt like home. So. It's kind of weird how that happens. I just love the dark floors in here and the, the kitchen and all the fixtures. I feel like they really, you know, took their time and did everything correctly. So I'm just so in love, so happy. <laughs> um, again, if you guys have any questions about anything in my apartment or anything, just leave a comment below and I'll, I'll uh, gladly answer. And I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna try to keep posting more. So, <laughs> all right, we'll see you soon. Bye.